Hi, I wanted to address a question that I got in the review section of my Skillshare class, Optimize Your Design Workflow, Adobe Libraries 1. Uh, Lizzie Clark said, I learned a lot about brushes and how to manipulate them, and thanks for pointing out the free Adobe stock images. Do you happen to know how to recolor these patterns? I've tried all my tricks and can't seem to crack the code. So I'm going to do a little tutorial now of how I recolor. I don't know exactly which ones Lizzie has downloaded, so I can't be sure that this is going to work for her, but um, I'll give you a couple tricks and hopefully, hopefully it will help Lizzie. So here is one set of patterns that I downloaded from the Adobe Stock Library, and I'm going to just select this, this pattern. It's one of the swatches up here. And I'm going to hit the recolor button, or if you don't have recolor sh popping up anywhere, you can go to Object, no, I'm sorry, Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork, and the same menu is going to pop up. And here you see all the swatches, and there's a lot of things you can do with the recolor um, tool, which if you guys are interested and want to know more, you can leave some comments in the discussion of my class and I can, you know, do a class on that as well. But just to show you now, I'm doing some color switching here and I've got a whole new swatch. And once I push OK, it creates a new swatch in my library. And now I can use that color. I want to show you a second example because there is one thing that might be stopping, um, you know, might not quite be working. This is a black and white um, set of swatches, and sometimes black and white um, are treated a little bit differently. So I'm just going to show you an example. I'm going to select this one again, and this is recolor. And here, Choosing a different color, it's actually working fine, but sometimes black and white, uh, you can have difficulty changing the colors. And if that happens, if you click on this button, sometimes white, black, or gray is checked off. And so whenever you change black, it doesn't change. So if you have a black and white pattern and it's not changing for some reason, click on that middle button and uncheck everything and then push OK. All right, and now you should have no problem. There we go. Push OK, and that's creating a whole new swatch over here.